now let us discuss about recursive enumerable language and recursive language we have regular languages context sensitive languages context free languages likewise we have rel and rl also we know that regular languages are accepted by finite automata whereas context sensitive languages are accepted by linear bounded automata context free languages are accepted by pushed down automata so likewise here recurs rel stands for recursive enumerable language recursive enumerable language means the language which is accepted by turing machine so the language which is accepted by turing machine is called as recursive enumerable language recursive enumerable language mainly produces one of these three states the first state is accept and halt second state is reject and halt third one is loop or never halt so let us assume that we have a string w if w is belongs to the language then we can say that this string is accepted by the turing machine and and after that it will halt suppose if the string doesn't belongs to the language then we can say that the corresponding string is rejected by the turing machine and it will halt and one more scenario is loop or never halt that means uh, uh, it never uh, accepts nor rejects if the string doesn't accept by the turing machine as well as if the string doesn't rejected by the turing machine then it is called as what uh, loop state so this is nothing but here uh, it will goes into the infinite loop so this state can also be called as never halt so loop means neither accept nor reject okay now let us see about uh, uh, recursive language the language which is the language is recursive if there is halting or total turing machine so we can say that a language is a recursive language if there is halting turing machine or total turing machine so halting turing machine or total turing machine means it will produces only two states the first state is halt and accept the second state is halt and reject suppose if the string belongs to the language then we can say that it is accepted by the turing machine suppose if the string uh, doesn't belongs to the language then we can say that the corresponding string is rejected by the turing machine so this is the major difference between recursive enumerable language and recursive language in recursive enumerable language uh, we may have loop also loop or uh, this uh, this can also be called as yes, never halt whereas recursive language means here we have only two states uh, accept state or reject state whereas in recursive enumerable language in addition to the accept and reject we may have loop or never halt also